Hi all, and welcome to the next instalment of the Connect MR tutorial series. Today we will be covering component placement, the placement workflow designed specifically for fabricators to perform a visual QAQC check. The first step in this workflow is to isolate the component you are wanting to see from the rest of the model. To do this, enter in the unique ID associated with that part, such as the assembly ID here. This is an exact match, so you will need to put the complete code in. Once you've isolated a component, if you have a QR marker already placed on that component, you can then place it using marker placement. Although this takes more time to set up as you need to place the marker and then print it off, we do recommend this workflow as marker placement is the most accurate workflow in ConnectMR. If you do not have a QR marker, you can then align the model manually and using three-point placement. Use one or both hands to rotate the component until it is aligned. You can tap the arrows on these axes to spin the model 90 degrees. From here, you can now measure three pairs of points on both the model and the real world. Bring up the toolbar and select three point alignment. You will first select a point in the real world and then the same point on the model. You can do this using either near or far touch. As you can see, you are also able to manually pick up and drag a point if it is in the incorrect place. Once you're happy with the placement, measure another two pairs of points. For best results, measure two sets of points along the length of the component and the other pair across the width. This creates a longer reference line, which in turn increases the accuracy of the placement. Once you've selected three pairs of points and are happy with them, open the toolbar and select Done. For minor adjustments of your placement, use the Fine Tune tool. This allows you to make slight alterations to your placement along each axis. To see the rest of the model around your component, Navigate to the Layers panel via the Visibility menu. The isolated component will be visible here and you can toggle the layers on and off as needed. One thing to note is that the search feature in this workflow is driven by assembly selection mode in Trimble Connect. As you can see here, turning on assembly selection results in the additional parts in this assembly being highlighted, not just the initial objects selected. This logic is applied to the highest level assemblies within your model's data structure and will group objects based on a universal assembly property. If your component is missing parts when you're looking at it in Trimble Connect's 3D viewer, it is more than likely to be missing them in Connect MR2. 